hello friends in this lecture we will create this uh, this pin and here we have one front view and one side view so first of all i will start from this middle one so let's start with the katia b5 and i'm going to start with wireframe surface design so let's start we go to start and from mechanical design i'm using wireframe in surface design and uh, First of all, I'm using this Helix and before Helix, I need to create a point. So this is the point and this point and this, this gap is half of 44 will be 22 and 22 is a radius and now click this Helix and axis right click Z is the axis and see this three three is a pitch so change it to three and the same is the height so three is also the height and click okay All right now uh, this is the upper one and this is a lower one so i'm going to start with this upper one so click here line and line with the tangent to curve and click this and the curve sorry again select this tangent curve and my curve is this okay and just create it okay it is not the exactly same as I want so just click and okay see here we have one plane at an angle of 4 degree so I am going to create a new plane so first click here and click here so this is the first plane now I'm going to assign new plane angle and rotation angle rotation axis is this reference plane is this and this is not properly this line is not properly so double click here this is tangent that's why it is not working so I'm going to use point and direction so my point is this and the direction I'm going to use X so click here and direction is X right now create a new plane and axis is this reference plane is this and angle 4 degree right okay now hide this first plane and the line right now I'm using a line or uh, use this tangential curve my point is this and my curve is this and support support is this plane okay and this distance is 24 so enter 24 right now I'm going to define this point so select this point and change this to plane and this is the plane and the origin is this one okay click here and double click to edit and this gap is 19 19 change it to 40 and the other side it is 18 right double click here so you can see it properly 40 and 18 right now match this to point using point to point and assign the corner between these two trim trim and the radius is 10 so enter the 10 right now let's come to this one and uh, create one more plane this plane should be parallel to here okay okay and use this line and uh, I am using tangent curve so curve is this point is this reverse the direction and support should be this one this this one okay and now distance is 48 see here it is now I need one center point so for center point I'm using this and my working plane is this and the origin point is this 
and uh, click here double click to add it and the uh, this 5 will be 0 and the uh, vertical will be 15 radius now use a circle to draw this one so here I have circle option and I need this partial circle with center and the point so center is this point is this and I need a support and this will be the support right and drag again drag here and change it to 180 and 360 right it is now matching properly again use this line or I can use this extrapolate also okay so boundary is this extrapolated and support is this Right, and the height is 100 the length is 100 okay now the curve is all the curve are created now I'm going to join all this okay and from the sweep I'm using this center and the radius and curve is this and the radius is half of 3 is 1.5 and see and if you want a solid solid coil so I need to make some changes so go to this part design and from this use this close select the surface okay and hide this surface right this is a coil so in this way we can create this kind of coil with the help of curve hide all the plane as well So thank you for watching, have a nice day.